So I get a lot of questions about people looking for GUI applications that can do what some of the terminal utilities that I often demonstrate on camera. For example, file searching. Many people want to be able to search all the files and directories on their system for a specific file or patterns that match a number of files or directories on their system. And we have many command line utilities for this. We have standard GNU core utils like grip, which is great for a simple file search utility. A more powerful file search utility is the find command. The find command is fantastic, but it's complicated. It can do a lot, and many people don't want to take the time to learn how to use tools like grip or find. They want a simple graphical application. And today I came across this tool called fSearch. fSearch is free and open source software licensed under the GPL 2.0 license. It is written in C based on GTK3, so it's a GTK application. And their little blurb here at the top, fSearch is a fast file search utility inspired by everything search engine. And what's cool about this is it's a simple tool. You know, it's somebody that didn't know what they were doing could get up and running with fSearch really easy. But it's also deceptively powerful because of it's got some wildcard pattern matching. You can enable regular expressions if you want to do a regex kind of search. And let me actually demonstrate some of this. So let me go ahead and launch fSearch. So I installed fSearch through the standard Arch Linux repositories. It is available as a flat pack, but they warn you that the flat pack, because it's a, a containerized package, there could be some issues with the flat pack because obviously it needs to scan your whole system. And sometimes those containers, they're not allowed to do certain things on your system. So if you're gonna install fSearch, I probably would recommend go ahead, install the native package uh, is probably in your Linux distributions repositories. The very first time you launch fSearch, you're going to have an empty pane. It's just going to be an empty window and then you're going to get a pop-up asking you what folders should it search. And by default, nothing is set. Again, you have to tell it what you want to search. For me, what I ended up doing, if I go into edit and preferences and go to database, I told it just search the top level directory, the root directory, right? The slash, right? Our top level directory on Linux. So it indexed everything on the system, which you can see the database is more than 2.2 million items on my system, right? But it indexed that in just a few seconds. And when you're doing the file search and the directory search and everything, it's actually a really fast utility. You think it'd be slow, especially with such a gigantic database, also being a graphical application, they can be slower sometimes than your command line applications. But F search is surprisingly fast. Now, one of the cool things about the database is you can tell it what folders to include and what folders to exclude. So I told it, obviously, search the top level directory, uh, include, but there's several things I didn't want included in the database because there's some directories that just contain junk that you're never going to want to search through. By default, it had slash proc and slash sys. These are standard top level directories on Linux. You really don't need to go full with stuff in those directories. You really don't need to search them, right? And then I had some other directories on my system that are rather big. They contain stuff that I really didn't want to search through. The most obvious, I, I use the Brave browser as my main browser, and its config directory stores a bunch of junk. It's like 10, 20 gigabytes of stuff in there. <laughs> it's a gigantic directory, even for commands like the find command, grip, or in this case, F search to search through. The gigantic directory, I, I don't need to search that. <laughs> I exclude that. I also excluded the uh, Mozilla directory. I also excluded my uh, podcast directory where I've got a lot of uh, big files and stuff that uh, typically I'm, I'm not trying to search through that stuff either. So I've excluded a few things uh, just to clean up the search a little bit. And then other than that, update database on start is the default. But if you want to, you can tell it to update every few minutes, every hour, whatever it is that you need, and then click OK here. Here in the menu system, if you go to search, you can enable regular expressions or not. By default, it's turned off. You can turn on case sensitivity. By default, it's turned off. I'm going to leave it turned off. And then other than that, pretty much everything you do is here in the prompt here. So for example, if I want to search for all the files and directories that contain the string, Arch. I'm on an Arch system. You would think there would be a lot of stuff Arch related, including some words like archive. There's a lot of archives on the system as well. So that's just a very simple file and directory search. So it's going to 
search all the files and directories that include the string arch. If I only want the files, I could do file colon, and now I limit just the files that include the string arch, including things like no search and archival. So anything that includes that string. If I wanted the directories instead of file colon, I could do folder colon, and now any folders that contain the string arch. I mentioned it does have some basic wildcard support, so I could search for um, asterisk arch asterisk, and it's going to return all the files and folders that include the string arch, and then the asterisk represent anything before and after the string arch. It also, I believe, includes uh, the question mark support. So A R question mark H would return anything that includes the string A R followed by another character, any character followed by H. And you know that's what we get here. It includes some basic operators. For example, I could do arch space and and Ubuntu. So anything that includes both the string arch and Ubuntu as part of the name. So I've actually got a few things here. I, I was kind of surprised so many things included both Ubuntu and Arch in the string, but that's a lot of it is Ubuntu archive, right? For snap packages. If I wanted to, I could also use instead of and and I could use the or operator with the two pipe symbols, Arch pipe pipe Ubuntu. And now it returns everything that includes Arch or Ubuntu as the string. If you want to do a not, so anything that's, for example, not arch, which is the exclamation followed by arch, you know, I could do that. Uh, I could actually do exclamation A, anything that doesn't include a A and and exclamation E, anything that doesn't include a E, which are two of the most common characters, right? We just excluded a lot of things, right? We went from 2.2 million items to just 300,000 items now. I mentioned it has regex support. Uh, you could turn it on in the menu system or you could just turn it on here, kind of like we do file colon, folder colon. You can do regex colon. And in this case, I could do, well, let's do quotations. And then inside the quotations, I'm going to do period and the and the plus sign slash dot org and then dollar sign. I'm going to search for all the files and directories that have dot org as the ending at snitching. So it searches for that pattern at the end of every file and directory. And this would be important if I wanted to search my org documents in Emacs. Unfortunately, it gives me a lot of directories that also include dot org because there's a lot of dot org uh, domain names, I guess, associated with a lot of the files on the system. Well, here's the thing. Instead of regex colon, I could do file colon regex colon, right? And then search for org documents. And now I get proper org files that are on my system. One cool thing you can do if you want to search for directories that include a certain number of children directories, you could do child count colon and then two, right? <laughs> Every directory that has at least two children in it. Uh, we want to really filter some things. Let's do a child count of 250. There's just a few directories on the system that have 250 children in it. If I did 500, would there be any? Well, there's one directory, and if I did 1,000, yeah, there's, there's nothing. So, yeah, really cool F search, right? There's a lot of stuff you can do. This is a really powerful file search utility. I didn't expect to like it as much as I do because I'm somebody that spends a lot of time, obviously, using tools like the find command and the terminal and grip, you know, a lot of the standard core utils. But, you know, I'm going to keep this on my system because I think, I think I'm going to become a user of this. I think it's going to be just part of my regular installs on Linux. Now, for those wondering about some of the pattern matching, like regex and things, you can go to the fsearch GitHub here and go to wiki, go to C search syntax for a list of all the things you can do. And it has a nice, a chart here with some tables of pretty much everything you can do. I kind of just scratched the surface of some of the pattern matching you can do with this tool. But F-Search, I'm really, really impressed with this. Now, before I go, I need to thank a few special people. I need to thank the producers of this episode. I need to thank Matt Steve, 40 Millimeter, Cap Caveman, Darlaw Flea, Jersey Killer, Mark Methos, Erion, Paul, Peace, Arch and Realities for Less, Red Prophet, Roland, War Gentoo, and Ubuntu, and Willie, these guys. They're my highest tiered patrons over on Patreon. Without these guys, this quick look at the F-Search utility would not have been possible. The show is also brought to you by each and every one of these fine ladies and gentlemen as well. All these names you're seeing on the screen right now, these are all my supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. I'm sponsored by you guys, the community. If you like my work, please subscribe to DistroTube over on Patreon. Peace, guys.